Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people on whose traditional lands these videos are made and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Okay, heading overseas, I just want to have a look uh, to see what's happening in Pakistan. Imran Khan, who is the leader of the PTI uh, party, uh, has been jailed. Now, the P uh, it's so confusing. Google it if you need to. Um, but it appears what's happened is the Previous government, they recently had an election. Previous government, uh, uh, led by the P PPP and the PMLN parties, who were a coalition, had brought charges against Imran Khan and had him jailed because of, well, I'm going to put it out there, the support of Imran Khan and the PTI party. So we're basically looking at um, some real. Uh, if that would be like uh, President Biden jailing Trump because he didn't want Trump's party to win and then banning the GOP party. So what happened is that the PTI party was banned from having any candidates in the recent election. So all the PTI uh, party uh, uh, candidates ran as independents and they won 101 of the seats. They won the outright majority. Uh, so we've got the PPP and the PMLN party. They won 75 and 54 respectively, uh, looking at forming a coalition. However, we do have another party, the MQM party, who won uh, 17 seats and may hold the, the balance of power. It, oh, it's a mess. So I believe what needs to happen is any particular party needs to hold 166 seats. Correct me if I've got that wrong. So even the MQM joining with the PTI are not going to have enough seats, but it does mean that the PPP and the uh, PMLN parties are going to need the MQN party. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, what's happening? Is, so apparently a lot of the PTI candidates who ran and uh, didn't get their didn't get the their seats according to the election counting have gone to the courts. I think I might have read on this a couple of weeks ago and said it's a lot is going to go to the courts gone to the courts claiming uh, election fraud. It's an absolute mess. So I'm just going to draw some cards using my Gilded Tarot Royale. Let's have a look at, um, where do I start? Will a government be formed? Will a government be formed? Any government be formed in Pakistan? Will there be a stable government formed? Will they be? Okay, thank you. I'm being told, have a look in the, at the PTI party. Show me. So they're going to the courts. What am I getting here? I'm getting the King of Swords. I can see the King of Swords as clear as day. Um, the court rulings, the court cases. Tell me, will the PTI party be able to form a coalition Will the PTI party be able to form a coalition? Now, there's just apparently 70 seats of the final government, 266 seats or something like that, um, are appointed seats, women and non-Muslims, appointed by the ruling government but independents can't be appointed to those seats, which is part of why they banned the PTI party so they were forced to run as independents. Otherwise, the PTI party, having the majority, could have appointed those seats and gotten across the line. So confusing. Show me the future of the PTI party. In Pakistan, PTI party in Pakistan. Uh, 
Okay, come on down. These cards have popped down. Right. The PTI party in Pakistan. Um, this was the first card out uh, being paused, being stopped, challenged by not yet time is what I'm getting there. It is my, it's the wheel of fortune, those on top ending on the bottom, etc. But let's see where this goes. Oh, I've got cards popped over everywhere. Uh, volatile message being brought forward with that Knight of Wands. But anxiety in the past, the future of the PTI party. Crowning this reading is the Ace of Pentacles, a significant new beginning in regards to the ability to bring stability. Okay, thank you. Love it when my boys interrupt me. Um, if you hear them, let me know. Put it in the comments. Um, the PTI party being stopped is going to be challenged by this wheel of fortune turning because there's going to be volatile information brought forward that's going to bring a new start, a new stability. The voters here, the voters are in the near future. Externally for the PTI party, a new beginning, a new start. Internally, judgment coming. The collective awakening, hopes and fears, uh, wish fulfillment, but also be careful what you wish for. The outcome, five of cups, loss, disappointment, heartbreak, tower moment, stealing, abuse of power being exposed, and the ending of the oligarchical money for those that have benefited. And then an emotional cleansing and a new beginning as secrets are brought to the surface and exposed. Devil energy secrets. Now, I'm not getting that this is the PTI party. I'm thinking it's the, the abuse of power from the other, the previous ruling party. Investigation about the, the, the snake and the path and an ending. This is not going to be resolved uh, in in a hurry, is what I'm getting. It's not that... Oh, right, I want to have a look. It's good cards for the PTI party, the Independence Party led by Enron Khan. Did you have on the... Um, base of the deck there that I didn't show was Sun, the Six of Pentacles. Um, so it's going to be fully illumination of um, money changing hands. Is the military going to get involved? Is the military going to get involved? It's three cards. Now, when you sort of think about how important Pakistan is, they are on the border of uh, India and Afghanistan, very unstable part of the world. Will the military get involved? Will the military get involved? Stealing, betrayal, the courts, and harsh truth coming forward. This is all legal. Not getting the military at all. Not getting in the military at all. It's going to be a burdensome information brought forward that's going to bring about a, a real judgment awakening moment and inevitability about the abuse of power that's going to, and money. That of those that tied themselves to this devil energy. Okay. Might have a look at Imran Khan himself because I think so all, all courts at the moment, I'm not seeing the military getting involved at all. So show me the future of Imran Khan. 
in jail at the moment on, I'm, I am going to say trumped up charges. I can't even get my head around what he's been charged for. Aside from the fact he's been charged for illegally marrying his wife, um, apparently they have a law that after a divorce goes through, you cannot marry within 16 days or something. He would know that. He would be all over that. So I'm doubting that they actually got married within that 16 days, but I'm just feeling it's... And they've jailed his wife as well, which I think is, again, on trumped up charges of this illegally marrying um, so that she be doesn't become a rallying point. But show me the future of Imran Khan. You've got to remember he was an international cricketer. He has seen the world. He was married at one stage to, I can't remember her last name, Jemima, who was a British socialite. So he, he's a man of the world. Show me, show me the future of Imran Khan. And it ran that way. Okay, got to do what I'm told. Come on down, let's have a look. Okay, the Three of Pentacles. Can be my dark money card, but I'm really getting looking at the image, and I use particular decks for particular images, forging something new. We've got here challenging him, Page of Swords, the future of Imran Khan, a whistleblower coming forward. Um, no, I'm just no, I'm not getting that. What am I getting here, guys? It's a page, so it's not it's not a solid truth. The challenge is a determination. A determination, and he's holding the sword with two hands. It's almost like not let the truth out. At the base, we've got two of pentacles, the future of Imran Khan. The decision needs to be made. Uh, about which ship to bring into harbour. In the past, the diplomat, the negotiator, the mature energy. I'm getting this as my Imran Khan card. So it is a juggle. It's a tightrope at the moment. Having to, he's having to defend himself. I'm drawn to the fact, if you have a look at this card, these wands don't have anyone attached. So they're just almost like false false um, accusations. But he's got his back to the window, the light shining through the window, defending himself against these, these baseless attacks. Okay. Immediate future. An offer being made. Let's see where this goes. His circle of support externally, Imran Khan internally, something completely out of left field being brought forward. Having to surrender. Back up against the wall, having to surrender something. The outcome. The family. The messaging out there about the family, the legislators, and the government. What's this hope and fear with his back up against the wall? There's a lot of skill work going on behind the scenes that's going to bring forth the truth in regards to his restriction. Okay. Just going to draw a couple of cards. Will Imran Khan become the leader? There's a lot of protests happening on the streets. Will Imran Khan become the leader of Pakistan? Dropped out, big yes. Will Imran Khan become the leader 
Pakistan, just a couple of clarifiers, guys. Well, in my car, I'm being told not bother. Uh, yeah, I'm getting yes, he will. Yes, he will. Uh, there's a whole convoluted legal situation to go through here. When he does, I might have a look to see about the future of Pakistan itself. Okay, love to you all. Take care.